Are you on the verge of packing your bags for Durham, North Carolina, but can't decide if it's the perfect match for you? Well, hold on to your seats because we're about to go over the fantastic pros and the unexpected cons of this vibrant city. Stick around to find out if Durham is your dream destination. Hey there, I'm Nicholas Newcomer, your friendly neighborhood real estate broker representing EXP Realty in North Carolina. Are you itching for a change of scenery and considering Durham, North Carolina as your new stomping grounds? Well, today is your lucky day. We're diving deep into the pros and the cons of Durham, North Carolina to help you make an informed decision about your big move. Durham, with its vibrant community, is home to roughly 279,100 residents and it proudly goes by the nickname Bull City. Back in the late 1800s, there was a tobacco company called Blackwell Tobacco Company. And guess what they named their product? That's right, Bull Durham Tobacco. The city's iconic nickname, Bull City, was born right then and there. And it's a quirky and historic tidbit that sets the stage for all the exciting things you're about to discover in Durham. Let's get started going over the pros and cons of Durham. Embarking on our list of pros, let's kick things off with a dynamic advantage Durham's bustling job market and its wide scope of employment prospects. At the heart of the economic powerhouse lies the Research Triangle Park, a sprawling 7,000 acre technological haven that beckons over 300 companies engaged in cutting edge research and development within RTP's vibrant ecosystem. More than 50,000 individuals contribute their talents with tech giants like Cisco, IBM, Apex Family Wealth, in Fidelity Investments leading the charge. In the city of Durham itself, diverse job sectors thrive, offering an inviting array of career avenues, whether you're drawn to the healing touch of healthcare, the enlightenment of educational services, the craftsmanship of construction, or the culinary delights of accommodations and food services. Durham has it all. And here's the icing on the cake. The median household income in Durham stands at a commandable 66000 $623, only a whisker away from the national average. So no matter your professional calling, Durham is primed to welcome you with open arms. Now let's dive into our second enticing pro, one that personally captivates me, the vibrant cultural diversity that unfurls in Durham. Here you'll find a, a big blend of diverse ethnic backgrounds contributing to the city's rich social fabric. Impressively, over 20% of Durham's residents are fluent in a second language, with Spanish, Chinese, and Arabic ranging in supreme among them. The city truly comes alive with its calendar brimming with over 30 annual cultural festivals. These spirited celebrations pay homage to the unique heritage and traditions that grace Durham, offering a delightful window into the world's colorful mosaic to nature and celebrate this diversity. Durham boasts more than 10 dedicated community centers, all working tirelessly to promote cultural and understanding and appreciation. And the cultural tapestry isn't just about festivals and centers. It's also about savoring the flavors of the world. As we'll explore in the next section, Durham culinary scene mirrors its diversity, promising a, a wonderful adventure like no other. In short, Durham is your passport to an enriching cultural experience where you'll ravel in the vibrantness of humanity from all corners of the globe. Now let's savor the next pro, Durham's culinary scene and foodie culture. Brace yourself for a culinary odyssey as Durham beckons with a tempting array of over 800 restaurants, each a culinary gem waiting to be explored. Venturing into these eateries, you'll embark on a global journey without ever leaving the city limits with nearly 40% of these dining establishments showcasing international flavors that mirror Durham multicultural tapestry if Mexican cuisine tickles your taste buds, you can relish options like Los Tres Mexican Grill and Bar or El Dorado Mexican Restaurant. Prefer the savory delights of Chinese cuisine? Look no farther than Shanghai Restaurant, Hong Kong Chinese Restaurant, and Neo China Restaurant. For those with an appetite for a farm to table, Durham boasts approximately 50 establishments committed to sourcing fresh local produce, a testament to the city's dedication to supporting local farmers. Among these culinary gems, you'll discover Farmside Kitchen, Local 22 
two kitchen and bar in the elegant fair view dining room and if variety is a spice of your culinary life don't miss the Durham Food Hall, a big wonderland that caters to every palate, whether you're in the mood for gourmet delights, comfort food, or exotic flavors. The Durham Food Hall has it all, making it the perfect family-friendly dining destination, but the culinary adventure doesn't stop there. Durham celebrates its foodie culture with over 10 annual food festivals, including the Durham Food Truck Rodeo and the delightful Taste for Durham festivals for those seeking liquid refreshments. Durham's brewery and distillery scene has surged by a remarkable 20% in the last five years. Local favorites such as Full Stream Brewery, Dirty Bull Brewing Company, and High Wire Brewing offer craft liberations that will bring your taste buds to alive. And of course, if you're in the mood for fine dining or the convenience of fast food, Durham has you covered there also. Whatever your culinary desire, Durham invites you to embark on a flavorful journey, ensuring there's always something new and delicious to discover. Now let's venture into our fourth enchanting pro, Durham's Abundant Parks and Greenways, a paradise for nature enthusiasts and outdoor explorers. Durham boasts an impressive collection of over 60 city parks sprawling across more than 3,000 acres providing residents and visitors alike with captivating tapestry of green spaces to discover and relish. Among these natural gems one standout favorite is the majestic Eno River State Park an expansive 4,200 acre haven of natural wonder. Here you'll find a network of over 30 miles of pristine trails that beckon hikers and nature enthusiasts to trend their past. Favorites among adventurers include the scenic Cox Mountain and Laurel Bluffs trails where every step reveals the captivating beauty of the Eno River. But Eno River State Park offers more than just hiking. It extends it an invitation to anglers to cast their lines in its waters, home to a rich diversity of fish species for those who prefer a leisurely outing. Designated picnic areas adorned with tables and grills provide the perfect setting for a delightful meal amidst the nature's ambiance. The park enchanting allure extends to its vibrant wildlife with over 200 species of birds making it a haven for bird watchers along the riverbanks. A thriving ecosystem houses an array of fish, amphibians, and mammals making it a sanctuary for nature enthusiasts of all kinds. If you're looking for aquatic adventures, Durham's very own Falls Lake awaits. Originally constructed by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers in the 1980s, this splendid lake serves as a multitude of purposes from flood control in water supply to water quality protection beyond its vital roles. Falls Lake is a recreation haven spanning approximately 12,410 acres and boasting a shoreline that stretches over 175 miles. Here, boating enthusiasts can set sail from multiple boat ramps around the lake while anglers will find abundant opportunities to hook bass, catfish, crappie, and more. Sandy beaches beckon swimmers to bask in the sun, offering designated swimming areas for your enjoyment. For those who prefer a leisurely stroll or jog, numerous trails wind their way around the lake, providing serene pathways to take in the scenic beauty. And for those who are looking for an outdoor overnight experience, Fall Lake State Recreation Area boasts multiple campgrounds. Whether you prefer the simplicity of tent camping or the comfort of an RV, there are options to suit your needs with some sites even offering electric and water hookup. In essence, if you're seeking to bask in the great outdoors and soak up blended weather, Durham's abundance of parks and greenways promise a nice escape for every nature lover. Now let's get started with con number one, the cost of living in Durham, North Carolina. If you're thinking of buying a single family home, brace yourself for the median sales price of $429,500. Although it's been been on a slight decline lately is still a substantial investment looking for a townhouse you're looking at a median sales price of $378,900 and town prices have been holding 
steady. Condos on the other hand have seen a wild ride with median prices reaching $591,500 before starting to dip. If renting is more your style, the average rent in Durham hovers around $1,604. But here's where it gets interesting is the property taxes. Durham property tax rate is $1.3099 per $100 of assessed value. Compare that to nearby Raleigh and you'll find yourself paying 0.3865% more in Durham. Overall housing in Durham is a hefty 29% higher than the rest of the state and 9% higher than the national average. Now let's talk about monthly utilities which average around $150 per month covering electricity, heating, cooling, and water. Surprisingly this is 10% lower than the state's average and 12% lower than the national average. For your everyday groceries here's a snapshot of current prices in Durham. Bread at $3.50 seven cent a loaf a gallon of milk is around two dollars seventy four cent a gallon a ground beef at five dollars and eighty cent per pound groceries in Durham are about two percent higher than the state's average medical costs are also something to consider with Durham being six percent higher than the national average a doctor's visit can set you back around one hundred thirty eight dollars I know these numbers might make you pause how do they compare to where you are right now share your thoughts in the comments below the cost of living is a crucial factor when deciding on where to relocate to. Now let's hit the road with our second con in Durham, the transportation and commuting. As a vibrant city has experienced a surge in population, the inevitable consequence has been the increasing traffic congestion, especially during those dreaded rush hours. Picture this, a major highway like I-40 in the Durham freeway can become a commuter's worst nightmare with significant delays becoming all too common. But that's not all. When it comes to public transportation options can be somewhat limited while go durham and go triangle offer public transit services the frequency reach and timing might not always align with everyone's needs this can make relying solely on public transit a bit of a challenge for some residents now let's talk parking in in bustling downtown durham in other busy areas finding a parking spot can sometimes feel like a game of musical chairs especially during events or peak times it's not a comment for both residents residents and visitors to find themselves in a bit of a parking predicament. So what's your take on transportation and commuting in your city? Do you face similar challenges or does your experience differ? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation rolling with con number three, a topic close to everyone's heart, the weather in Durham, North Carolina. Now while we do get to experience all four glorious seasons, there are a few quirks worth mentioning. You see sometimes it feels like we skip right over fall and plunge headfirst into winter. On the flip side, there are moments where when spring appears to be on vacation and we jump straight into summer. Summers in Durham can turn up the heat, literally. We're talking hot and humid with temperatures occasionally soaring into the upper 90s or even higher. That high humidity can make it feel like you're living inside an oven. And trust me, it's not everyone's cup of tea. Now here's the sneeze-worthy part. Spring in Durham unleashes a pollen explosion, especially from those pine trees it's like mother's nature's deciding to paint everything yellow but for folks with allergies this season can be a real challenge causing symptoms like sneezing fits itchy watery eyes and non-stop congestion luckily over-the-counter allergy medicine like Zyrtec or Allegra often come to the rescue while severe winter storms are a rare sight Durham can surprise us with an occasional ice storm or dusting of snow when that happens it can throw transportation to a loop because let's face it we're not exactly geared up for heavy snowfall if we do get a big snow it will shut everything down now here's a heads up Durham has a moderate risk of tornadoes especially during those severe weather storms in spring and summer it's not something we encounter daily but it's worth knowing about and speaking of summer the hot and humid weather means we crank up the air conditioning that's fantastic for staying cool but not so great for your electricity bill over Overall, Durham's weather is quite pleasant, but during those scorching summers or the pollen, it can be a bit of a challenge, especially for those with asthma or any upper respiratory issue. What's your take on Durham's weather? Now let's tackle the final con, a topic that's on everyone's mind, safety and crime in Durham, North Carolina. Before we dive in, it's essential to note that while I can provide you with the facts, I must adhere to real estate laws and not steer you in any particular direction. With that said, let's get into it. Durham has seen its share of crime with 2,164 
reported violent crimes averaging to 7.5 incidents per 1,000 residents. On the property crime front, there have been 9,946 reported cases resulting in a property crime rate of 34.83 per 1,000 residents. When you crunch the numbers, it adds up to a total crime rate of 42.41 per 1,000 residents. Let's break it down farther. This includes reported incidents of murder, rape, robbery, assault, burglary, and theft crimes in Durham, North Carolina. For a visual perspective, check out this map from neighborhoodscout.com it highlights the safest areas in light blue and the darker blues representing the areas that may be considered more dangerous now i'd love to hear your thoughts on the crime situation during share your experiences and any tips or insights you might have in the comments below before we wrap up i want to hear your thoughts on durham north carolina what's your take on the city Share your insights in the comments below. I'm eager to learn from your perspective. And if, if you're eyeing another town and want me to create a video about it, don't hesitate to let me know in the comments. Your input helps me bring you the information you're seeking. If you found this video informative and enjoyed our discussion about Durham, please do me a solid, smash that like button and hit the subscribe button to catch more videos like this one. I drop fresh content every Friday and I'd love to have you along for the journey. If you have any questions or if you're in the market to buy, sell, or invest in the Durham area, don't hesitate to reach out. You can call or text me at 336-266-8976 or drop me an email at nicholas.newcomer at exprealty.com. Your real estate needs are my priority and I'm here to assist you every step of the way. I really hope you found value in this video and I cannot wait to connect with you again in our next adventure. Until then, take care and stay tuned for the next exciting adventure.